Truthfully, I'm tired of y'all talking about how you're working out, you're doing all the crunches, all the squats in the world, and your belly is still not where you want it to be. It's not where you want it to be because exercise is not going to get you that flat tummy. And if you're new here, my name is Romani. I help women who struggle to lose weight. Through the help of my online weight loss programs, I've helped over 4,000 women achieve their weight loss goals. So if anybody needs to be making a video like this, it's me. All right, let's talk all things weight loss. I know you may not want to hear this, but the key to a flat that tummy is not the gym it's the kitchen what are you eating i know they tell us that doing 100 crunches a day is going to like shed belly fat but it can't shed belly fat if you're also eating burgers and fries and hot dogs and chips and candies and cookies so i actually want to go over some things that you can eat throughout your weight loss journey to really help you shed the belly fat starting off with protein i know you probably hear so much about protein to break it down in simplest terms the more protein that you eat the more muscle you build but you don't just build muscle when you start building muscle your metabolism increases and you can burn fat easier so when you're on a weight loss journey high protein diets are crucial now you can eat some things like meat so you can have fish you can have chicken you can have steak but you can also have some plant-based options like hemp seeds chia seeds pumpkin seeds any type of seeds are amazing for protein i mean there are lentils chickpeas like there are so many options for a high protein diet so if you're a person like me that doesn't eat meat, you still don't have any excuse as to why you cannot eat a high protein diet. I think the recommended amount for women is 60 grams, but over here, I try to get 90 to 100 grams. And I know that that may not be feasible for everyone, but that's just what works for me. So you'll just have to see what works for you. I just noticed that when I'm trying to look a certain way, like I'm really in the gym, I'm really like in the kitchen, trying to eat what I need to eat, 100 grams of protein helps me look my best. And you can figure out the protein content on your food by just looking at the back of your food or you can look it up on Google. And I have a ton of high protein options and I go more in depth about high protein diets in my newest online fitness program called the Hot Girl Summer 30 Day Weight Loss Plan. It literally has over a hundred ideas for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks and it has a full workout plan. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the link down below and you can always use the code YouTube for a discount. All right, once you got the high protein diet out the way, you need to ditch the sugar sugary drinks. So many people don't understand that you are drinking your calories. I talk to so many women. They're like, I'm not eating a lot. I don't eat a lot. You're drinking a cappuccino in the morning, a frappuccino in the evening, three lemon drops, a Pepsi. You've drank all of your calories for the day. So even though a drink may be small and you may not feel full, you don't feel full because it's empty calories. Empty calories are calories that do not fill you up. I also should have said with the high protein um, part that protein fills you up. So the more protein that you eat, the fuller you're gonna get. So that's also why people like to eat high protein meals. But the sugary drinks that you're drinking are not getting you full at all. So I know you're probably not gonna like this, but I have all my clients do this when we are starting. I have them only drink water for a week. And in that week, I really want them to see what their body does. And I'm not saying all water, no food. I let them eat whatever they wanna eat. And I know that my methods may not sound good to some trainers, but I get results. I know what I'm doing. Because I also used to be overweight so I know how to talk to my clients in a way that like gets them to do what they need to do so we don't start with everything all at once so I let them eat what they're gonna eat and I'll be like okay for this one week, I want you to only drink water. So even if you go to Chick-fil-A, you need to get water. Even if you go to McDonald's, you need to get water. Most times within that first week, my clients are losing two to three pounds by not doing anything but drinking water. And they're like, oh my God, I didn't even realize I was drinking so many sugary drinks. I'm like, yeah, so once you cut those sugary drinks out, you're guaranteed to lose weight. More specifically, belly fat. And if you're one of those people who think water tastes nasty, you just have to grow up because I don't have any alternatives. I know people want to put little things in their water. Grow up and drink water like I, I can't and I say this as a person who literally used to drink Mountain Dew every single day and I'm not over exaggerating when I say every single day I was drinking a can of Mountain Dew every single day followed by hot Cheetos it was crazy girl it was crazy but I did what I had my clients do that's why I had them do it because that first week that I was like okay girl you overdoing it with the Mountain Dew I was like okay I'm gonna have a gallon of water every single day and I did that and I lost three pounds in that first week and I do not drink pop anymore and that was 10 years ago. I do not drink 
it's crazy because I always thought that I was going to be a person to drink pop. I'm like, I can't drink water. Water tastes nasty. Now, like anything sugary is just too much for my taste buds, especially even when I go out because I don't drink. So I'm not getting lemonades and it's just all too much. I'd rather have my calories with my food. I'd rather eat all my calories than be drinking all my calories. All right, next, you have to reevaluate your relationship with sweets. I know that sweets is most people's downfall. You want the cookies you want the donuts you want the cake me i personally love a good cupcake but i can't have that all the time i can't even have that most of the time it gotta be t not even sometimes it has to be one time like once a month i'm overdoing it maybe twice a month but i don't really be craving cupcakes like that but you get what i'm saying you have to stop eating these sweets every single day because those are also empty calories meaning you're not going to get full since you're not getting full you're probably going to have too much of it and i know this by experience because girl i love oreos i love oreos Oreos. and it's an ongoing joke like with my best friend because I can't just eat one Oreo this one time I literally had an entire pack of Oreos in one night that's why whenever I ask somebody to buy me Oreos buy me six the little six pack don't buy me a pack of Oreos but I say all that to say you cannot be eating that every single day because that is contributing to why your belly is not as flat as you want it to be now some alternatives I know maybe doing a lot alternatives can be if you like ice cream you can have yogurt that's what I did because oh I used to love ice cream too you can have yogurt I would do like the little oreo yogurt and then once I started having the yogurt I was fine I don't I, it's crazy because all of the things that I used to love I really do not even think about now but you can have yogurt you can have fruit fruit is always a good alternative and I just love making a smoothie especially if I'm craving something sweet and you can make your smoothie taste however you want to I don't know why y'all sit up here and make nasty smoothies because when I talk to people they're like oh I only put kale and spinach in my smoothie why would you do that why would you do that if you want it to taste good I don't understand people sometimes because my sentiment is if I'm trying to lose weight I don't want to eat or drink things that taste nasty so I'm going to make it taste good so if you are going to make a smoothie can you make it taste good you could put strawberries mangoes like please don't limit yourself obviously don't put no hot cheetos in the blender but you don't have to limit yourself on the type of fruit that you're using don't do too much with the liquid though I will say I like to use coconut water unless it's like a creamy smoothie then I'll use like oat milk or almond milk but I'm really a coconut water type of girl so you can experiment with the drinks but not too much don't just use store-bought orange juice and store-bought apple juice because that's the sugary drinks that I was talking about before and I probably should have mentioned that don't overdo it with the juice I know I was just talking about soda and frappuccinos don't overdo it with the juice just because it comes in a bottle and it says grape juice with no sugar doesn't mean it's grape juice with no sugar they don't have to tell you all of the things that are in it the FDA barely approves anything the FDA whatever I don't even know what we could say on here it just be so much stuff in the things that we're eating nonetheless I, I I missed my whole point I don't know what we were talking about but you know okay I was talking about snacks so just try to have some healthier alternatives for your sweet snacks and it's okay to fill up on fruits and veggies a lot of times when I tell people to snack on fruits and veggies they say oh I just had an apple but I was still hungry have two have three it's an apple it's not like it's a red velvet cake fruit also has a lot of fiber so it's gonna be good for you I promise all right so let's recap what we have discussed in this video because you can't say you didn't know what to do. we talked about high protein diets i don't know if this is going to be in order because i'm just going off the top of my head we talked about high protein diets we talked about cutting the sugary drinks cutting the sweets filling up on fruits and vegetables just because i gave you these rules does not mean you have to eat boring food if you do not know what to eat i'm telling you i have so many options in my 30-day weight loss plan i'm not just saying that you can literally read the reviews and people are like okay this actually has good meals in the meal plan and remember you can always use the code youtube for a discount thank you so much for watching please let me know in the comments what you're going to implement from this video make sure you like and subscribe to my channel subscribe to me so we can talk more follow me on instagram i share a little bit more than i do on youtube and i will see you in my next video